Hey guys, Bangun Kitchen back here with another video And I just want to thank you guys so much for all the subscribers My channel officially reached 1000 subscribers 2 weeks ago Thank you so much for your support, likes and comments I'm enjoying and appreciate all your feedback And I really hope that I can do more cute and best recipes for you guys And for the new recipe today We are making Pink Totoro Chigiri Pan Or commonly known as Tear Off or Pull Apart Bread this kind of bread has become extremely popular in Japan. The name of chigiri comes from Japan word chiguru, means tear off. It's the fact that you can tear off the bread as much as you want from the original square and eat it as you like. We will making this bread using 5 degrees Celsius cold storage liquid method. A small percentage of the flour, water, and yeast that have been stored for at least 18 hours in the fridge. I know it sounds a really time-consuming bread, but the result is quite impressive and so worth it in the end. And best of all, the method is very natural, no chemical needed. I know that you will love it so much guys, but anyways, before we get started on our bread, make sure you tap that subscribe button if you love bread or cute things, and turn on those notifications as well. And without further ado, let's get started. To start off, you will want to make that magic ingredient, the 5 degrees celsius cold storage liquid in a bowl or container we are gonna mix in together the flour, water, yeast and give that a stir make sure that you are buying the instant yeast kind because there's a bunch of different kind of yeast cover and let them sit at room temperature for outdoor fermentation for about 1 hour and then put them in the fridge for at least 18 hours by using this method, it pre gelatinize the starches in the floor. The bread may rise higher, they will be moister and will stay soft and fresh longer. Moving on, let's prepare the template for Totoro's tummy. Using A4 paper, divide 3 equal sections at the bottom of the paper. It's about 7cm each. Using round cutter to make the curve shape, then cut it out the curve. It should look something like this. Next, let's prepare our pan. Fold the non-stick baking paper that fits to the bottom of the pan. Cut out the sides, then place it into the pan. In the meanwhile, I want to take a peek of my happy liquid. I can see a lot of bubbles. It indicates that they are ready to use, guys. Now it's time to prepare our bread dough. In a large bowl, we want to mix in the flour, milk powder, sugar, and our happy yeast. Grab yourself a whisk and give that all a stir around. And then we are going to pour in the wet ingredients, cold storage liquid, eggs, and the milk. And once again, give that a mix. You will notice that the dough is really sticky at this point, but that's totally fine. Add in the softened butter. Pour them on our work surface and let's start kneading the dough. So that is quite challenge to knead by hand. If you are gonna do this by hand, it will take for about 15 minutes or so, depending on how strong you are. And if you want this to go with a stand mixer, that will take for about 5 to 10 minutes. And this might lead you to wonder, how do you know when your bread is ready? The best way is just to do what is called the window pan test. By stretching the dough into a thin translucent membrane, like this. If you can scratch the dough without breaking it, that means the gluten is well developed and your dough is ready to rise. Next, you want to add on some red food coloring and then start kneading to incorporate it. This is looking beautiful. So now we are just gonna let it rise for about 10 minutes. Please remember, always cover the dough with a plastic wrap or a damp cloth to keep the moisture in and prevent the skin from drying out. After the dough got enough rest, divide the dough into 9 equal parts. It's about 45 gram each. And also don't forget to spare some dough, about 30 grams for the ears. Rounding the divided dough one by one, and let it rest again for about 10 minutes. Now we can move on to the next step, which is going to be the shaping and rolling. Take one of the dough, flatten it by hand, fold the dough twice, 
roll it into a smooth ball, and then place it in the pan. You can see that I'm using a bit of flour on the work surface here. If a little bit flour is okay, but I recommend that you don't flour it too much to prevent the dry result. Continue with the rest though. And now they are ready for the fermentation process. Cover the shape dough with a plastic wrap and let them rise for about 50 to 60 minutes until they are double in size. In the meantime, preheat the oven to 170 degrees Celsius. 10 minutes before fermentation is completed, the ear dough is ready to shape. Flatten the dough, cut into small pieces, then shape it into a cone. Here I'm using a hard cutter shape to make it easier. Spray the dough surface with some water and stick its ear to the dough. And then to complete the tartar's tummy, place the curved template on the dough. And using a mesh strainer, sprinkle some cake flour on the uncovered dough. Please note that you need to start from the top row and the rest row should be covered with another piece of paper to avoid the floor. I love how puffy it looks, but anyways, now we are ready to bake them. Cover the dough with a piece of aluminum foil, bake it up for about 20 to 25 minutes. You don't want to over bake, like have a brown totoro, so turn on your alarm and check them out right after 20 minutes baking and quickly save your cutie totoro. And now here's the bread out of the oven. This looks incredible. You want to immediately take it out from the pan and let it sit on the cooling rack. And don't forget to remove the baking paper as well. This way will prevent the bread to get soggy, which can cause a wrinkle on their surface later. You don't want that to happen, so make sure to give your bread enough room to breathe. Before you decorate your bread with chocolate, let them cool completely. Now it's time to decorate them using white chocolate to create these eyes and the nose with dark chocolate, then his mustache. and his little mouth and using a toothpick to draw a pattern on the white tummy It's really fun guys You can create any design and expression you want Alright guys, our pink turtle chigiri pan are finished now. They look really cute and so tempting. This shape also makes any ordinary type of bread look even tastier. Apparently, by connecting together the pieces of bread and baking it, the dough does not dry out, making the bread soft and fluffy. The bread is slightly sweet, making it extremely popular with the little kids, and it stays soft the next day. See the inner fluffy structure of this bread? Having this bread toasted with a little bit of butter on it 
was probably the best thing I've eaten for my breakfast. Even if you don't toast the bread, it's still super fluffy and light as you can see. It just melts in your mouth. Making homemade super fluffy bread is just absolutely amazing. You will just enjoy it like eating a cloud. I hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a try as well. If you are a soft bread lover, I think you will enjoy the results. If you like it, make sure you tap the subscribe button for lots more videos. Also, you can follow me on social media at Bemum Kitchen. And the completed recipe is, is in the description below. Take care guys, love you all so much. And I'll see you all back here very soon. Bye guys.